I'm Steve, the heart specialist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back to EnglishChess.com. We're back with our lovely guests, the uh, South Florida Angels. Um, Steph has a great topic came in. She's got to explain it to the best of her knowledge. I'll help her. You know, I'll be her crutch. Okay, well the topic is how you would feel if you got into a relationship with somebody and they were already married to another person, but they were just married to that person for their papers. So, so, so okay, so you gotta, you gotta show me like any like hands-on okay. experience here. Okay. Let's say me and Horace were married, but only so he can get his papers because he's from Jamaica. Right. And you and me get into a relationship uh -huh. and I'm trying to explain to you the situation between me and him. So right. How would you feel about it? Um, is this like... Is this prior to us meeting? Or yeah, you? prior to us meeting, I've already, we're married. You know, a lot of people have been using that as a excuse now, like game. Like, oh, you know, I'm helping this, you know, this guy out with marriage and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but they really is married. They have, Could be a second wife. Yeah, they, have, they just have problems, you know, like, this motherfucking horse is my damn nerves. It's a good ass excuse, man. You know, it's a good excuse, but guess yeah. what? Then you never have to worry about why you can't come to the house. Yeah, or call. Yeah, you know, they might pop up. You know, we are, like they got to see us there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, what do you call him? Uh, what do you call him? CNI? INS. INS. <laughs> INS will pop up. You know, you just can't deal with that. So, you got to understand. You want to roll with us? I would to meet the person. And like, no, I would want to meet the person and know for sure that's what the situation was. And not mm -hmm. that it was the other way around and you were just... You know what? But that's the other way to tackle it. But, 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 the, you know, the thing is, like, you know what? Um, like, we'll reverse that. I'm trying to date Deanna, but I'm married to you. Yeah. I'm like, Deanna wants to meet you. I'm like, look, Deanna, I wasn't even supposed to tell you. You know, that's her, her personal. Oh, yeah. Because you're not supposed to let anybody know. You're not supposed that. to let anybody know. Yeah, so what are you going to do now? How, how else would you find out? Mm. You have to just take my word. I oh. mean, that's why you should always check, like, the clerk courts to see how they got married. Because <laughs> <laughs> it tells you right there if they got married by a judge or if they got married by, you know. But that doesn't make a difference, though. Well, if y'all got married in church, why y'all get married in church? Oh, good point, good point. You're right. So. That's a good point. That's a good point. Maybe you got to make, you gotta make it up. Uh, 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 real. <laughs> you got to make it real. But let's say, let's say, let's say, what if they were in a relationship before they got married but they're only staying married for the paper so they mm. did have a relationship mm. before how would you feel that's a tough one. Oh man that's a tough so, one so if they had a relationship and then he's helping her out to get papers that's yeah they broke up they broke, they broke up, up. They say. but they still you know staying married because you know paper was paperwork and stuff so that, that's the back of my mind mm, yeah but, I probably I mean it depends on if they're still living together like what the situation is I would think you definitely can you, de Deanna, you definitely can't come in the house now because yeah, she might get upset and be like, hey, um, yeah, that's adultery. No, Hope but, there are, no, but there, are actually, yeah. there are actually people who are married for papers that don't actually live together. I mean, that's so, true. I mean, I'd be like, why are you still living with her? Like, y'all well, cannot, y'all can live can. in a separate place. You can come stay with well, me. Well, do I just do random pop-ups like that? Yeah, 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 they used to do it on good times. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't think they, I don't think they do it anymore, so. <laughs> they used to do it on good times. I swear it was an episode that I had a part of it. So what's the alternative then? You know? Oh, um, how about this? How about, how, how about how about sorry, cut you off for us. How about Dean? I'm really honest with you. I'm really Dean. Let me just lay it down with you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Stephanie still loves me, but I don't feel the same way for her. And I'm just helping out with her papers because the kind gentleman I am, I'm going to just you know stick to my word and help her out. You know, as a good person. How how would that excuse? I mean, <laughs> to me, it would depend upon like how long. I think it depends upon how long. But that's a that's a real personal thing to tell. Like and how long? Okay, how long do you have to get? How long do you have to stay married? Uh, to two years. That's, that's, I mean, it's like two, two years. years. Like, that's why are y'all still? Yeah, if y'all if y'all want through this five years, something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't get the papers by now. That's a burning bush. I mean, and also, what if he waits to tell you oh, I'm married until after y'all have been in a relationship for a couple months? Like, I mean, if he tells you within the first on the first date, like He's in the first couple of, in the first couple of weeks, you might say, I would say to myself, okay, the situation is too heavy, I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if he waits till four or five months when y'all are in love or something like that to be like, I got something to tell you, exactly. you might be more prone to staying. Yeah, and, yeah. A, and a lot of guys will go that route because especially if you know that you have something good. Because in the beginning, what happens is that you don't know if this first date that you guys go on. Are you gonna click? I mean, is 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 she just a, a piece of ass, or is it gonna is there a possible future then? 
You know, so you really don't want to tell a person all your business right up front in the beginning. You know what I mean? Let's see how it waits out. So most of the time, that's why you really want to wait and just see. So and plus you, you want to, to tell her. Plus though. you want to make sure the sex is good too. <laughs> he, he just don't want to. I'm being honest. He, he just don't want to just throw all your dice in there and then mm, it doesn't work out. Now he, you know, got somebody stuck on you that you can't get rid of. <laughs> you know, and then you got paperwork. You got papers at the house that's uh, processing. And now you got this one you can't get rid of. And now you got two dilemmas. You know what I mean? So, I think it, that's why a lot of guys do that. You know, you don't want to like tell them all your business and not really sure where this is going to go. So, but I hear guys in that situation are actually putting rings on the women. Like, here's a promise ring while they are legally married on the other side, I'm trying to help this woman out with her papers. Promise ring? Yeah, guys still do that. Yeah, uh, I mean, technically, you can't you can't be married to two people at one time. So, well, how long are you waiting before you put a promise ring on? No, I, the reason I call it promise ring because although I'm engaging her. I technically can't marry her because I'm still legally married to her. I understand, but it just, I guess it's just for her peace of mind so she knows that I'm committed to her. But there's no peace of mind. There's no peace of mind. No, but that's what they're doing. That's what I'm doing. Who's these guys? Who are these guys? Who are these guys and who are these suckers that they're falling for? They need to stop. I haven't seen a promise ring on a woman in a long time. I haven't seen a promise ring on a woman in a long time. These are ladies with feelings. They're not suckers. I haven't seen a promise ring since 86. The spinner ones. <laughs> so, so if they do it, they need to stop, Tom. Promise rings, man? Man, I have not seen a promise ring in, since 86. I got a good solution to that, man. If yeah. Deanna is just plans on having fun with me, like... But no one knows those things. I'm, 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 I'm just saying, just, you oh, know, just, okay, you know, she's a single woman, you know, sex in the city. What's, what's those other shows? Living single. She's just, she's just you know, she's just free spirit. So she's just... <laughs> chilling, <laughs> So she probably won't even be worrying about all that right now, right? So that's what, as far as like me divulging to her about me having um, someone to help me with their papers through marriage, you know? Would I need to do that? If the other man clearly means, you know, Steve, you know, real nice guy, I love hanging with you, but you know I'm not in the mood for no serious relationship. Do I still have to disclose that to her? Of course. I don't think so. No. Yeah. I don't think so. That's, you know, that's, that's what I was saying. But I mean, if y'all are going to get in a relationship, you And it starts like, turning serious, then yes. you have to tell so them. So how do you know when a relationship turns serious? The sex is good. <laughs> the sex is good and you guys have actually more than just sex. You guys can actually talk and enjoy each other's company. You see the other part. A guy know when it's no. Most guys, we don't really like to talk about this stuff, but when we know, we know. Okay. You know so what I mean? Women said, know off top. You so know you said, which, how you explain when you know you get serious, that's from an art point of view. Yeah. We're, women, after intercourse, <laughs> when you're serious. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Correct. So we're our timelines are off, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but men are physically fast and women are emotionally fast. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of off. Mm -hmm. So she'll be technically in this relationship faster than I. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So that's why that's why you got to make sure when you, you, know, you hit it, you hit it right. <laughs> because that first time she already emotionally invested in you, and you come out and you says you suck. It's not gonna work. You know, what we're, yeah. so but, but, uh, us we're guys, gonna... us guys, we more physically invested, and when you suck, it don't work because the emotion wasn't even there. The emotion comes afterwards. And it's like you said, the emotion for the woman comes before her invested, and the guys for the physically invested first. And then that's how we just, that's why we work so well together. It's, it, it's like a, you know. So you should just tell her that you're married before you stick it. <laughs> well, I know I never get to. <laughs> well, that, that's what I'm saying. That's why we seen a different, different views here. Because a woman, a woman, well, you know what? Hold on now, Steph. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? Some women might do this because you got some women that think like guys. So, you know what, girl? I got to make sure he's going to be worth it first. You know, it's true, Steph. No, it's true. <laughs> D? Now, <laughs> see? They, they don't like yeah. it. They don't like to do it. They don't want to come out and say it, man. They don't they think just like us. You know, we already know this. We got to say it. They think just like us, man. Oh. <laughs> America, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, technically, um, I guess, so we're all on the same page. We don't want to say something. I mean, we don't want to empty out our closet during intimacy. Because we don't, we don't want to ruin a chance of not having intimacy with you. But then on the hand, okay, when you have intercourse with someone, you feel like you're giving a piece of yourself to this man, right? Yeah. For women, right? 
and the guys on the hand, we don't, we don't no, like. There's no, there's no peace given. Right. <laughs> at all. Because Andrew made a good point. It's like physically, you guys are actually wearing yourself out little by little when you give yourself to a guy. So it's just more to it than just intercourse, and I guess that's what we have a hard time catching now. We we haven't really got that grasp yet to really like see it and just really appreciate it as quickly as you guys want us to do. But some guys make it though. Yeah. <laughs> you know you know when a guy emotionally gives himself to a woman is when he stops fucking her and having and making love to her, which it doesn't happen a lot. And the most time most time when he makes love to her is when they that breakup sex or when they. When, they, when some of them bads happen. So I guess it'd be more kissing involved, right? It's like, yeah, more, yeah, 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 yeah more. More massaging. Exactly. More, more, more caring, more caring and less screwing. You understand what I'm saying? So Girl, you know how we barbaric. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny, America. But you know we more barbaric, so it's like when there's more hurt, that's when we actually show the emotion then. Because, you know, we, that's how we are. But women is like, it's, it's, it's so funny, dog. <laughs> we're, we're so emotionally involved, so it's like when she have her man and it's like everything is good, it's like it's like an explosion. You know, everything is just, you okay, stuff? <laughs> she don't want that. Yeah. 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 The buck. Yeah. She buckled a little, huh? She buckled? Did your legs buckle? Yeah. No, oh. I'm shaking my leg. Oh, my. Uh, I had to. So, uh, <laughs> so it's just, it's just, it, that's, that's just how it is. It's just a woman just give a lot more in the beginning all the time because the emotion is just so much stronger. But a guy, we just going physically, man. So it's like we're really not losing ourselves. So when a woman really gets hurt, when it doesn't work out in the beginning, it hurts him so much more rather than a guy. You know what I mean? If we losing the, the ass, then it's like, oh, man, it hurts then. But, uh, but mentally, we can move on from that. But for a woman, it's just so hard, especially if she already invested emotionally already with a guy. And then it's like it's a lot harder for her to just like, get over it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to sign I'll let Horace sign out. <sighs> no, you know what? Let's let the guest sign out. Freestyle. Um, this was in your chest. <laughs> Top flight. <laughs> <laughs> On a black Jaguar, once again. I'm Vitaiva. I'm Indiana Jones. <laughs> a heart specialist. And then we sent out in your chest. We have two more questions. Uh, send all your questions to NHS at gmail.com, YouTube. And uh, you, if you have our personal numbers, you can always text us. All right, we sent it out. <laughs> don't, don't text me. Especially when a hot spot is on. <laughs> 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 Thanks, man. Yeah.